maiden there lived, whom you may know by the name of Annabelle Lee. And this maiden, she lived with no other thought than to love and be loved by me. I was a child, and she was a child in this kingdom by the sea. But we loved with a love that was more than love. I am my Annabelle Lee. With a love that the winged seraphs of heaven covered in her and me. Yes, that is the reason, as all men know, in this kingdom by the sea, that the wind came out of the cloud, chilling my beautiful Annabelle Lee. So that her high-born kinsman came, bore her away from me, to shut her up in a sepulchre in this kingdom by the sea. The angels, not half so happy in heaven, went envying her and me. Yes, that was the reason, as all men know in this kingdom by the sea, that the wind came out of the cloud, chilling and killing my Annabelle But our love, it was stronger by far than the love of those who were older than we, of many far wiser than we, so that neither the angels in heaven above nor the demons down under the sea can ever dissever my soul from the soul of the beautiful Annabelle Lee. For the moon never beams without bringing me dreams of the beautiful Annabelle Lee. And the stars never rise, but I feel the bright eyes of the beautiful Annabelle Lee. And so all the night time I lie down by the side of my darling, my darling, my life, and my bride in her sepulcher there by the sea, in her tomb by the sounding sea. I want to explain to you why I'm not famous, or I should say as famous, for my poetry as I may be for my stories. First, I'd like to recite a very short poem Helen, thy beauty is to me, like those my key and box of yore, that gently o'er a perfumed sea the weary, wayworn wanderer bore to his own native shore. On desperate seas, long once roam thy highest.